In this video, I'll show you how to play Up on the Sun by the Meat Puppets. Uh, this video is a request from my buddy Gio. Uh, but before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe. I'll be posting new videos every week and leave a comment. And um, here we go. All right, so this song starts off uh, with a kind of tricky descending pattern um, that's kind of, kind of quick. Um, and you're going to want a clean tone on it. Um, the song's in standard tuning. Um, and so the, uh, the intro goes like this. And um, the best way to play it is with alternate picking because it's real fast. And it's basically just a descending pattern. So you're going to hit the open E. And then you're going to do like a little bend. And then you're going to do the descending pattern. So. And I like to play the first uh, four notes with my ring finger and index finger. So. And then the last four notes with my uh, pinky and index finger. So. Um, and then in the back, behind that guitar, there's another guitar that's playing um, this kind of um, chord progression with, uh, it's basically just an E chord um, at, at the um, seventh fret of the A string, with the root of the seventh fret of the A string, and you're going. Um, and there's a little bit of ad-libbing on that background part, but it's basically that. And you're basically going to pull when you're not playing the chord, so you play the chord kind of sharply, and then you're going to mute over the top by lifting your fingers off of the, the frets to make that chunk a chunk of sound. And then about midway uh, through the verse, you're, there's gonna be a chord change to this D chord, and you're gonna play um, this arpeggio. So um, you're gonna play this um, D, this form of the D chord, and then you're gonna play it uh, in an arpeggio like this. So it goes like this. I like to play it is I like to bridge my finger across the fifth fret and then I'm going to use my ring finger and um, pinky finger to play both of the notes at the seventh fret. Then you're going to go to uh, another chord change. This time it's a B major chord and um, the arpeggio is going to be a little different this time. So one more time. Then we're going to get to this kind of long bridge uh, pre-chorus type part <clears throat> and um, what you're going to be doing is playing um, this, you're going to play the 6th fret on the G string and then open on the B and E, kind of like this. And you're going to play that over and over again um, until you get to the B chord change where you're going to play this uh, part. So slowly it's and you're going to play that twice and then go back to that same first part. Um, and that's basically the, the what you play in the pre-chorus. Now there's going to be another guitar behind it playing um, a, a kind of interesting chord pattern. So it's a E and then it goes to an A after the first measure. Then it goes to the E, then it goes to another E, then you hit that B, where you play that second part, then you go back to an A for the second half of that measure, and then another E. And then you're going to go into the chorus. So for the chorus, you're going to play an E chord, like this. D chord and then there's going to be a second guitar over the top playing um, arpeggios for the E chord and the D chord and uh, the way I like to play it is like um, with my first finger bridged over the seventh fret of the B and E strings and then my ring and pinky finger on the ninth fret 
of the D and G strings. And so you're gonna just place uh, an arpeggio straight up, just uh, in ascending pattern. So, and you're gonna play that over and over again, four times. Then you're gonna slide down to the D. And that's gonna be played all the while while the other guitar is going. And then for the second half of the chorus, it's gonna be a B, E, A chord pattern. And you're gonna play these kind of, um, they're not arpeggios, but they're individual notes within the chord. So you're gonna, it's gonna start off with a B like this. So what I like to do is just finger the chord and then kind of just, just uh, kind of glide your pick from the low string up to the high string um, with like a little bit of an accent at, on the higher note. So. So a little bit slower, it's... Um, so again, slowly. sounds like this. So then the chorus repeats, and then um, I guess for the outro and the end of the song, it's uh, basically an E chord, and you're gonna play that, that, uh, those, that notey part. A few measures, and then it goes back to the beginning part. Um, and then it just does that over and over again as it fades out. That's it for this one. I hope you liked the video. Remember to like this and subscribe on YouTube. I'll be posting new videos every week. The tab for the song will be uh, listed in the description. And then um, remember to leave a comment what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys next time.